Okay, welcome back. Just like I said, uh, I did get all the Tropical Terror missions done off screen. Just to confirm, I did clear it within two minutes, and I did do it without taking damage. No, that was not done in one. I had to do two separate <laughs> fights, unfortunately, but hey, they're done. So everything uh, is now done for this, this particular chunk of the map, except for Treasure Road. So we're going to do that. So if we pause and look at the Treasure Road list again, we yet again have two more to find. So let's do that first. Look at some suspicious areas. Oh, hey, that's a that's a suspicious location, isn't it? So that's one. Oh boy, and it'll be Stairs Mouth, everyone's favorite. What else do we got? Where where else could it could it possibly be? There's only so many places. That looks suspicious. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. And then we'll do these in order, as usual. Also, coins. Sometimes you'll find coins. They, they like to troll you that way, I guess. All right, well, let's start with normal treasure, I guess, since it's right there. Sweet success, invincible rampage. Uh, if this is what I'm thinking it is, this one actually shouldn't be that bad. Alright, so let's just run. Run from Scarfy. You ain't gonna do nothing to me, Scarfy. Well, that was a mistake. It's fine. It's fine. My depth perception is not fine. Oh no, but wait! I think I have something that can take care of this. Yeah! Destroy them all, Kirby. Something tells me I didn't get the the stock or target time for this, but we'll see. Yeah, I was three seconds over. So see, they're starting to they're starting to finally pile up. And clearly I messed around a bit and I got hit, but. That's what you have to do to do it perfectly. Don't get hit. That's fine. I'm good. F I'm good with that. Next up, okay, stairs mouth. Okay, so stairs mouth. Let's try this one. Move or step it up. Moving the stairs. This one is. Very tough, actually. It's it's three stars for a reason. You have to get, like, the exact right placement of these stairs. Because uh, if you do not line it up correctly, Kirby will not actually uh, pop out where you want him to when he spits out the stairs. So I have to do this in a very particular order. Uh, it's a little nerve-wracking... Uh, because if you get it wrong, you waste a lot of time trying to fix it. I don't quite know why they put this in the game. Like, I, I just want to talk with uh, whoever did this. I, j I just just have some questions. Okay, this one's the tough one. Um, I'm gonna do my best here. So this one's down. Um, this goes here, but I think I'm going to have to move it eventually, but I'm going to slam down as much as I can here. Okay, so slamming things down, spit this out, I want to bring this one all the way over here. I can already tell there has to be a more efficient way to do this, but it is what it is. Um, I think I've already actually screwed everything up for forever. We'll find out. And then... there we go. So yeah, there's clearly a more efficient way to do this, but it'll have to do. And this stupid bone guy has to be here. It's like, why? Like, wh who hurt you? 
Hal, why, why would you do this? And then... Put you back, and I have to immediately run over and do the other one, and then we're good. I think if you finish this with, like, a minute left, you're good. But, um, it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. It's fine. I really don't care to do this again anyway. There we go. Get me out of here. So yeah, what was the actual time on that? Am I, am I like seven seconds off or something like that, probably? No, way more than that. <laughs> oh man, I did this actually on my normal file. I don't know how, but okay. Well, we got the, we got the hard ones out of the way, I think. Clearly. So, now what? Yeah, I could go for some one-star challenges. Hammer the stakes. I think this one... This is the one I'm thinking of, because there is a hammer one. This one is deceptively tricky, actually. If you want the proper time, there, there are certain things that you just have to do. You have to just hit every corner perfectly. You're not allowed to screw up. And I've already screwed it up. It's gone. It's already all over. Yep. Definitely. Completely and totally. You have to kill these guys because they just... Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm... I'm choking now so bad. But, like, seriously, you have to... To get the time limit on this, you have to just be completely perfect. And, like... I think it's actually faster to just to not hit some of these enemies than it is to actually do it. Yeah, this one, yeah, I'm probably like a good like 20 seconds or so off. I would not be shocked. Yeah, basically. So yeah, they immediately turn up the heat on you in the second world. It's kind of funny. If you care about the times, anyway. Which, obviously, you don't have to. Okay. Okay, let's try the drill. Surely the drill isn't that hard. Dig and destroy. Okay, this one's interesting. So this is a tutorial for the... They call it the Quake Surge. That's what it was. Draw a circle and do the shockwave. That's kind of like extremely necessary if you want to actually get the proper um, thing. Because it will actually like stun enemies like that. Kind of like they'll like freak out because they, they can feel it coming and then they get stuck. Da, 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 da. There we go. Yeah, just keep doing circles. Except I screwed up and didn't draw the bunnies towards me like a fool. I, really? Okay, well. Not getting the time on this either, but that's fine. I don't want it. I don't need it. And in this one, you have to be very careful because if you if your circle's too big, then it's not gonna work. And those hedgehogs make it so you can barely see what you're doing, so that's fun. I think I have like three seconds. Or something ridiculous. I either just got it or I was I was completely off. Yeah, yeah just off, so... <laughs> so yeah, so now suddenly it's way harder to get these. So I wasn't I wasn't trying to, to downplay it. Uh, these, these require some practice if you want to beat the times. There's other things you can do, actually, later in the game to make these a little easier for you, but we don't have the means, and we don't... I don't really care. Okay, Tornado Treasure. So this one's cool, because it you know shows off how Tornado works in terms of uh, just avoiding hazards. So let's go. So the Hyper Tornado... 
The game kind of explains it in a weird way here. It's basically just you can end the tornado early by pressing B, and it releases everything that you currently have sucked up in you. That's, that's pretty much it. You gotta, you gotta kind of do it at the exact right pace, because otherwise uh, you will not go fast enough. And this is actually already bad, because I did not time it correctly, so that sucks. That's fine, though. <laughs> it's a sure enough trial, anyway. And see, even... Even then, I, I was perfect until the end, and, and that was... Well, not perfect to the end, but, like, you know what I mean. So there we go. It's done. We don't have to worry about the, the record time. No, no one cares. I totally don't care. Volcano fire. Okay, so now we're getting into evolved abilities. And this is basically highlighting... Uh the enhanced range that Volcano Fire has. We're gonna light these lanterns. That was a mistake. How did I do that? Boom. Very careful. And unfortunately, you run into an issue where you want to just jump and do the spray and aim it, but you end up doing the burning tackle instead. So that's that's one issue I kind of have with this power in, in like, those extremely rare circumstances. Okay. I'm already too slow, but it's fine. I think if you hold guard, you can strafe a little bit, but it's a little wonky. From what I remember, anyway. Oh, we could have done that, too. Ow. Well, just in case it was ever... I was ever in the running. It, I, it was never gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Probably, like, 20 seconds off or whatever. Just to make me feel worse. Four seconds. That, that actually feels worse. It's fine. I don't... <laughs> I don't care. Totally don't care. Okay. And what else? Sword, everyone's favorite. Away we go. So this one is gonna test how efficient you are. <laughs> I I had to I had to do this one quite a while to get the proper um, to get the proper timing. So. It's important to note that um, the spin attack, if you fully charge it, lasts a long time, and even when enemies are dead, the game will not uh, acknowledge that they're dead. So you have to. You don't want to like spend too much time doing it because that's wasted time. Like they're all dead, but it took forever to knock them away. Aww. And I accidentally was facing the wrong way, so that didn't quite work. That's fine. But the real problem with this fight is you have to do a mini boss. Because why? And so he's gonna pull out his shield. And so a, a hidden quirk of this boss is that while he's stunned like that, he takes a ton of damage. And you have to stun him and like do the and do the um, the spin attack to do the most damage there. And even then, four seconds. <laughs> so imagine how precise you have to be. You cannot take even a second too long to defeat an enemy. It, it's 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 absurd. Okay, and so we have one more now. The Chakram Cut. Which we have not really used at all in, in stages yet. And we may not, actually, because, I don't know, Cutter's just kind of there. Let's see. Fling Swirl Return, hit the switches. So yeah, we're going to hit switches. Just spam. Kind of. You know, spam, but aim. 
a little bit. You know, you want you want to hit. Oh crap! Well, there we go. You gotta aim, but you also can just spam. It's just. There we go. And, and, and you want those to actually be as close as possible. Otherwise, you can't hit them all, and they gotta be, be mean and put the enemies there, being a little tilted. Just a little. Just a touch. And we're not even done yet, because of course we're not. Why, why would we be? Why, why? Now, I don't recall if if I if I have a set time limit on these or not. Okay, we're good. Just keep moving. So yeah, probably like a good like 15 seconds off. I probably could have done that so much faster. Okay, eight seconds. I'm 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 overplaying that a little bit, but <laughs> you get the idea. So. I would say that for the most part, the, the difficulty for these is is about that, where it's it's not really that difficult to def to get done. It's just the time limit is so precise. Anyway, that will do it for Treasure Road, I believe. However, let's quickly go back to the town because I do have some blueprints to mess with and actually make. And then we'll, we'll send off from there. So. What do you have to say? Yes, yes, the burn attack. When the fuse is lit, yeah, crouch to speed the fuse. Thanks. Why is that hidden in an NPC dialogue? That actually, it's kind of annoying. Okay, Noble Ranger. So, the power remains the same, but the rapid fire goes way up. This is, this is one of my favorites, actually, as far as uh, upgrades go. And we, we will show that off momentarily. Behold, dual wielding. So, let's, let's take a look at uh, everyone's favorite here. So we fully charge, we just unload on him. Otherwise, your rate of fire is just a lot better. Even your your mid charge isn't that bad. And your your jumping move is a little more spread out. So it, it's definitely Death of a Thousand Cuts kind of style, but it's, it's cute. I like it. And then we had Bomb. So, with Bomb, the power goes up a fair bit, but the speed's about the same. So we'll show Chain Bomb off. If I'm being honest, a Bomb in general is just not my favorite power, but um, they try. I think they do what they can to make it more interesting. So here's Chain Bomb. So... If we go back to training really quick. So with Chain Bomb, if you throw bombs close enough to each other, they'll be linked together. And then they will all go off at once and do more damage. So that's kind of that's kind of the limit there. I don't quite recall the how many bombs you can have out before they're all linked. And the thing is, because you can only link them... Well, you can link him a fair amount. So that it's really good against, like, either against a big boss that's going to take up a lot of space, or um, a bunch of enemies. But I feel like it's a bit more limited. In some, it still does a lot of damage, though. You know, it does more damage than just like rapid firing the thing. But otherwise, that's all you really get. You can, like, you know, you still can aim it. I mean, you can aim it, and that can be a, a little more useful for the chain aspects, I suppose.
but that's kind of it. But yeah, we, we have one power we have not gotten. Um, in fact, there's a reason why. It's because it's not really a power you want. <laughs> and I might have... Um, I might have killed the enemy too soon. But other than that, we've seen everything else. We've upgraded what we can. We have a decent chunk of uh, rare metals in the future. And we will check out the next area uh, next time. So, see ya.